from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, we missed out on the snow. Well, most of us did. Now, if you live north and west of Tulsa, especially around Bartlesville, to even as close as Keystone Lake and then into southeastern Kansas, we did end up with just a little skiff of snow uh, that ended up uh, a lot of folks woke up to and went, wow, looks great. That's the beginning of the season. And if you're a little further north, you end up with quite a bit of snow. It was pretty impressive uh, how much snow fell, eight inches around Beaver, and then about eight to 11 inches of snow from around and west of Wichita back to just west of Kansas City. And I was driving from Omaha back along that interstate during that and that I mentioned at five o'clock that was way too stressful and I was like I just don't need that the snow is still showing up on the ground uh, in some of these areas and then you can see that swath of snow where it started in northwestern Oklahoma in the Panhandle area, still on the ground. It did melt uh, a little bit of light snow that was up in central Kansas. And what's interesting to note is like what happened with the temperatures when there's snow on the ground versus areas that don't have snow on the ground. Well, where the snow was on the ground today, Wichita was at 39 because when you have a lot of snow on the ground, it uh, basically is a refrigerator, so it's hard to get above 42, 43 degree area. Kansas City was at 40 and just southeast of Kansas City where there was no snow on the ground, temperatures were in the 50s. Same thing happened back to the northwest of that swath. Temperatures are in the upper 40s to low 50s. So, again, just depends upon your location when you have snow on the ground. Well, right now we have no snow on the ground here. Still some snow as we set up to the north and west. Not doing too bad there, though. Temperatures in the 30s. We're around 40 with some 30s as well. By tomorrow morning, it's another cold, frosty start, just like we were the earlier this morning. Maybe no teens, but we'll be in the low to mid-20s across most areas. Hard to tell us about 28. Light south, southwest wind tomorrow. Gorgeous. Just day. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s. We'll hit 60 down around McAllister and down around the Red River area. Notice a little bit colder where there's still snow on the ground around Alva, for example. And then Wednesday's highs will be generally upper 50s to low 60s. Again, we'll see some increase in clouds in the afternoon. Again, there should still be a little bit of snow left over in some of these areas on the ground. Some of that will melt tomorrow, but it'll be uh, probably making a difference. Now we have another storm system coming in. That next storm system coming in as we go on into Thursday night and Friday will deliver another swath of snow over almost the same spot, believe it or not. We have a pretty good chance of rain, and we could actually get uh, more than an inch of rain in areas around Bartlesville to Copan. Hallelujah, if that can happen. But it looks like it should. It'll be developing as we go through our really Thursday daytime and into Thursday night. So a good chance of off and on rain by late Thursday, Thursday night. Some heavy thunderstorms will be primarily in southeast Oklahoma, but this system is going to lift up and pull on out as we go on into early Friday morning. So the best chances up around Bartlesville and southeast Kansas will be early, early Friday morning before that system is out of the picture. Needless to say, though, it's still not looking too bad. We do have a roller coaster ride coming up. And that's what's expected this time of year because we warm up and we get these big old nasty cold fronts. I started nasty because I just went through a bunch of snow and ice. Some people want that, but I've had my fair share. Anyway, we'll look at uh, chilly weather. And then Friday is a cold day across the area. We'll be on the backside of the storm system, gusty north winds as well. And then as we go on into weekend, we moderate a little bit. Notice temperatures are generally in the mid-50s this time of year for highs. And then we go above normal as we go on into next week. And then a little bit colder in about two weeks from now. And uh, tonight at 10, we'll take a look a little bit more into December and how much further it's going to be. Right now, though, the jet stream is going to keep most of the cold air away. And they'll just have one storm system to continue with on Thursday. That is out of here with just cold air on Friday. And then after that, just a quick little system on Saturday night or Sunday and then pleasant weather for much of next week. Nobody probably is complaining about that. Get some Christmas shopping done. 37 tonight at 9 in Tulsa. will be colder in outlying areas. And as you look on into the morning hours, frosty 20s. We'll be down to low 20s if you're north of Tulsa. 49, nearing almost 50 at noontime. And by afternoon, uh, we have a good day scheduled with light winds. Anytime we have light winds this time of year is a good day. And we should have a couple good days coming up. There's that chance of rain for Thursday into Thursday night. And then another slight chance sprinkles Saturday night into Sunday morning. But this is a good forecast for this time of year. Nothing too crazy. So we're dealing with it. All right. Looks pretty good. Yes, it does. All right.